Cool. Hey, hi everyone, and welcome to my new channel, Auction Buys and Flips. I am Will. I'll be your moderator host for the next, I don't know, 30 minutes maybe. Depends on how long it takes to do everything. Um, what I do is I buy at auctions, state sales, Craigslist free ads are a great place to find free stuff to resell. Um, Facebook Marketplace, and um, yeah, so that's kind of what I where I get my things from. Sometimes I just ha happen against, you know, I might I've got a coffee maker. I just got a new one, so the old one will be coming up on eBay. And uh, what I know a lot about are Buriana, basically beer signs, beer taps, barware. Cars, trucks, specifically Ford Super Duty 7.3s, um, motorcycles, anything that has a wheel and I can get behind it and drive. Um, yeah, so uh, I've got two estate sales coming up in the next week and a half that I've found lots in that I'm interested in. I'm going to put some bids in later on uh, in the week. I want to see how the... Uh, how that goes before I decide to put anything in there. Uh, first one is a stay sale, like I said, it is live and it also has online, online bidding. So um, I'm gonna go to a preview uh, before the auction. Uh, that way I don't have to uh, make two trips up, up and back. It's a hour and a half away from where I live. And, uh, yeah, so there's eight vehicles, and uh, there is a 1989 Chevy Blazer with 18 miles. So that'll be interesting. <clears throat> I'll do a walk around of that and the other seven when I go up for the preview. And the second one is an estate sale that has barware and glasses in it that I'm interested in, and some other Buriana. There's a beer sign. Uh, there's a wall clock uh, and and then there's a really good auction tip for you uh, if you watch to the very end it's the last item that I will be placing a bid on if I bid on that auction any of the auctions in that auction um, definitely a huge tip um, so anyway without further ado we are going to move forward with the vehicle sale and uh, the vehicle auction and uh, take a look at what we're looking at for the next week and a half. Okay, so first up, we've got a 1989 Chevy Blazer 1500. This is the 5.7 liter 350. And this sweet girl only has 18 miles. That's right, 18. It still has the factory plastic carpet and seat coverings. The floor mats are still in the packaging in the rear seat. This thing, this baby looks to be in excellent condition. I'm estimating the sales, sale price on this is gonna go between 23,500 and 45,000 on auction day. Uh, my main concerns with this would be uh, the dry rot to possibly the rubber mounts, the hoses, the bushings, um, weather stripping, tires, uh, brake lines, but this thing looks to be in great condition. I will be going to a preview for this uh, before the auction is held, and I'll actually do a live walk around of this once I get out there. But uh, this estate did an awesome job on providing pictures, and it is stellar. Uh, this machine is unbelievable. Uh, I can't wait to see it in person. All right, up next, 1970 Chevy Chevelle Super Sport 454. Is it numbers matching? I'm not sure. It says there's 8,451 miles. That's 8,451 miles. There are some pictures of the numbers on the uh, engine, but there are also some spots on the engines that look like 
their numbers were ground off, so I'm not sure if everything's numbers matching on this. Uh, if you know, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, this car is not, it's hard to tell. I won't know until I go see, review it. Uh, if this is a restoration or if it was just taken apart because of uh, field mice or who knows what could have got in that back seat or uh, condition of this car doesn't reflect the other seven vehicles that are actually in this auction. So I'm a little surprised by the interior condition of this vehicle. Again, this is a very clean machine. I doubt that this has 108,451 miles on it, but I haven't seen it in person. And if someone could definitely comment how to tell if the numbers are matching on this, that would be awesome. Uh, I could use some help with that. But looks like a solid car. I've got six more coming up and uh, don't go nowhere. Uh, check this out and I'll be back with the next shortly. All right, now we've got a nice blue, one of my favorite color Chevy blues, 1970 Monte Carlo, small block 350, 19,101 miles. This does have some dings. Uh, there is some surface rust under the hood near the hinge areas. Uh, good looking car. Um, again, this is gonna be one of my I'm going to have to take a closer look at this when I get out there to do the previews uh, before the auction. Um, they're showing the dings in the side of the car there. Uh, the seats are covered with uh, plastic. Uh, don't know what they look like underneath, but you know most of this guy's estate, everything seems to be well taken care of. And the lack of rust underneath tells me most of these cars probably been garaged their whole lives um unbelievable uh set of vehicles here uh, interior looks mint um paint looks great other than a couple dings and i think the pictures for the speak for themselves when you look at these Up next, we got a 2003 Harley Davidson Heritage Springer with 12 miles. Wow. I'm gonna guess this is going for more than 15,000. Beautiful bike. We have more content on the walk around. And here we have the 1982 Ford Shaggin Wagon. Oh yeah. This thing is mint. Check out these pics. Unbelievable. I mean, holy cow. For real? I can't wait to see this on the walk around. This has got to be at least a five to ten thousand dollar van. Now on to the 1985 Cadillac Eldorado Barrits, 1,085 miles. I read somewhere that 
only 2,300 of these were made. It has a 4.1 liter V8. What a clean car. Wow. Carpet on top of carpet. This guy didn't uh, mess around. He made sure his floors were clean. Anyway, great looking car. And uh, I think the next one up is another Barrett's. This has got a stainless steel roof though, which is crazy. But uh, that's pretty cool. So this is the twin to the last one we saw. This is a 85 Cadillac Eldorado Breitz. This one has 38,500 miles on it. It does not have the stainless steel roof or some of the other options the other vehicle had. But still a great looking car. It's got a few dings around the corners on the plastic pieces, as you can see there in the pics as they go around. Look forward to taking a look at this in person. And last but not least, 1988 Chevrolet K5 Blazer equipped with the 5.7 350. There's 758 miles on the clock. Just 758 miles. Really clean. Uh, I've seen some of these with about 10,000 to 20,000 miles go for almost $35,000, $40,000. We'll see what happens at the auction. like to just go take a walk around on this one definitely for sure and that'll wrap up this estate sale and on to the next okay so this next auction is a online only auction i've already created a watch list at the auction for the items that i'm possibly going to bid on these are all uh most of the glasses are from the kentucky derby and they have a great resale um, on ebay and they sell pretty pretty re pretty frequently if you do a recent search on uh the, I think it's Kentucky Derby Julep Glass. And uh, don't forget to uh, check the sold side, not what's being sold. Uh, give you a better accurate description of how much you're, re in reality, what you would get for, for these glasses. Uh, not really what I'm into, but this is something that I can can buy, and I know I could flip this, and I could make some money off of these. Some of these are mis mismatched in, in the lots, so you might have, you know, four glasses of one, two of another year. There are special, special uh, things to look out for on these, especially uh, the, I think it's 82, um, there is a Philly and they don't always like, they usually will mark on the side of a glass, uh, if a Philly had won, um, I can't remember who, who it was in 1982. I think it was, uh, something genuine. Anyway, uh, if that's not checked without the little red dot, that glass is worth more. So I did some research. Uh, you know, research the photos. I can't see if it, if it's the the one without the red dot or the ones with the red dot. Obviously, the ones without the red dot are uh, worth more. 
So we'll have to look and see how that that those bids go on on that lot with those specific glasses that have got uh, special special uh, inst special edition glasses for that year. Um, I'm moving through these pretty quick. It's just uh, trying to let you see where the current bids are and uh, you know some of these glasses are worth $25 a piece and upwards. Uh, I think the first lot that I was looking at uh, one, of the, one of those sold for $65 alone and uh, they've got two of them in that first lot so I'm definitely be putting uh, making sure I don't go over you know my uh, price point so I can make some money on that but uh, yeah so this this auction is like I said online only and it's all timed and you have to sit at your computer and you have to be ready for it when it starts because it will move quick. Um, then if you get somebody who bids in the last minute, then uh, they extend the time for you and uh, give the other person an opportunity to spend more, uh, raise, raise the bid up. Definitely looking at that one right there for a dollar right now. So that's pretty, you know, if I could get some of these lots for less than five bucks, it would definitely make a, uh, could be worth worth my while. This one's actually pretty close to pick up, is like 10 miles away from me. So, uh, that's not a, not an issue with the distance. Um, I did, uh, you know, on a side note today, I did speak to somebody from Craigslist, picking up some parts, uh, some vehicle parts that uh, I should be able to turn and make some money on, although those will probably sit for a while until someone actually needs those uh, parts. But uh, so I got, got a freebie coming to put on eBay. It'll sit there until it's sold. And uh, it's always fun uh, just having inventory. Again, I've got uh, a lot of other inventory Oh, this bag right here, I need some help with. If anybody recognizes this bag, this is a, it's like 13 by eight by three. It looks like it might have held maybe comic books at one time. Uh, just trying to find a value on it. Uh, I know a lot of Disney stuff has a real good uh, resale value, especially the older things. Uh, I think with, this is the uh, wall clock I was talking about in the intro. Uh, I've seen these sell for up to 60, 70. Next one's the Miller Lite beer sign. This thing's huge. It's 52 inches across. Uh, the next ones are bobbleheads. If uh, anyone's interested in bobbleheads, I really don't have an interest in bobbleheads. I just thought I'd pop it up there because I like the reds. You got Pete Rose, Barry Larkin, Ken Griffey Jr. That's an American All-Star. That's when he was a Cincinnati All-Star. Uh, Tony Perez, I think that was uh, Alex Lopez and then uh, Austin Kearns there on the far left. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to see what that would go for. Then we've got uh, some burger beer glasses, Pilsner glasses and uh, a couple of uh, All-Star game pint glass and a, a Reds pint glass. Uh, that's already up to $11 but the uh, burger glasses could bring a lot. This is a uh, Kentucky Derby platter. Uh, they, they have a good resale value. And I think, what do we got here? Watches. Obviously, I like watches. I, I will, most of them just need batteries. <laughs> and uh, batteries aren't expensive. And uh, it's cheap to throw up on eBay makes great gifts people like old watches as I sit here with my eye watch on now and up next we've got the Wiedemann signs these are great resale value and the big tip is next if you're ever at an auction and you can pick up a hand cart for five or ten dollars it's well worth it if you don't have one to take to the auction to carry your stuff out with that way you only have to make one trip all right so that's going to 
do it for our video today. Uh, look forward to uh, producing another one of these and getting it out hopefully next Wednesday with some of the uh, items I'll be posting up on eBay. And um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think uh, content-wise, uh, pre presentation-wise. Uh, I'm new at this, so editing is not my forte, uh, although I'm doing the best I can. So uh, look forward to seeing some comments and hopefully get some new subscribers. Hey, uh, don't forget to check out the links below. Um, also, you can leave your comments down there and don't forget to like my uh, video. I appreciate it and click that subscribe button. See y'all next time.